Okay, everyone, welcome to Oofta, the organic farm strategy game by Darren Walters, family and friends, of course. And this is the advanced version. Basically, what I'm going to try to explain to you is what happens uh, certain dice rolls, uh, die rolls that are common ones in the normal game, <clears throat> but now with the advanced version, uh, we have a few new. Uh, a few new bells and whistles to go ahead and show off. So, uh, the first one I want to show you is really cool. Uh, normally on die roll number two, it's this one here, we would swap two crops in the market, right? And it had to be uh, something like this, right? Well, now you have an additional option. It says here on my advanced explanatory card, and of course that comes with the uh, that comes with the game, <clears throat> so now you have two sets of cards. So basically what it says now is, you can also, uh, other than swapping the crops, the other thing you can do is purchase one adversity card for 500 tokens. And it says you can, you can use the card immediately or save it for a later turn. So, I've rolled my two, and then I look at my funds, okay, so I have, I have uh, what, 20? <clears throat> now, I'm going to purchase the adversity card. So it's going to cost five tokens, so I pay the ten, lose the five back. I purchase the adversity card. I don't know what it is, right? So, by the way, doing this is an activity, not an action, because it is uncertain whether the outcome <clears throat> of doing this is going to make it easier to earn hunger tokens, which is the ultimate goal of the game. So, check it out. Let's see what we got here. Hopefully you can read that if I'm doing this right. Turn three crops to uncultivated status. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this card and instead of playing it immediately, which I could do on a, an unfortunate opponent, I'm gonna go ahead and take it and then I keep it face down on my side and now I am essentially saving it for later use. The other interesting thing is uh, related to this, you can play the adversity card immediately or you can wait for another turn. Um, once you do that, let's say I played it on this turn immediately, I would return it to the draw pile and then that's it. Okay? However, if I decide that I want to keep my adversity card and actually not use it, what I can do is uh, I keep it on my turn and then I never play it throughout the game, okay? And now, uh, the bonus for doing that is every time a new growing season starts, right? Because the growing season uh, starts over after 12 rounds of play, it means my adversity card is going to grow in value just like the crops do, right? You know, you plant them, you take care of them, and they grow in value over time depending on uh, the circumstances of the game and how well you do in the market. So now <clears throat> we have adversity cards that are unplayed. So let's say I'm on round 12. That's the one with squash. So I have squash up. Now I'm, gonna, I'm going to, uh, I just bought the card, right? I rolled a two. So I roll again, voila, I happen to roll a two. So squash, what happens is, the growing season starts over, I go back to cucumbers, very beginning, and now, since I've done that, I would do what I normally do when the growing season starts over, which is flip the gamble tokens. <clears throat> These all get reset, have it gambled, have it gambled, have it gambled, and now we're going to actually add value to any of the adversity cards that haven't been played. So what is that value? It's another five tokens. That's the original cost of the card. So if you make it 12 rounds without actually having to, having had played the card, you get to add five tokens to the card. So now, what do we call this, uh, this new thing? This is no longer a regular hunger token. What this is, is called a marker token. So what it's doing is telling us what is the value of this adversity card now that it has been kept out of play for a growing season. Now you notice, it wasn't for a whole growing season, because I happened to play, the, I happened to draw the card right before the squash or the, the new growing season started, right? So even though I didn't have it for 12 rounds, just the fact that it switched over right before the new growing season is good enough for me. 
So that's something you might want to keep in mind. <clears throat> so what do I have now? I have an adversity card. It's got five tokens on it. Just like normal, if it goes around and it's my turn again, I can play this on another player, you know, depending on circumstances. Um, but what happens? What happens to the five token? Uh, if you play the card on someone, it of course gets returned to the discard pile, but you get to keep the value of that card, or whatever it was, over however many growing seasons. So in this case, it was one. So I get to keep the five token, and then whenever the adversity was that I play on an opponent, that is what's going to stand. So that is pretty nifty. So in theory, you could have a card like this. You can play multiple, I should say, you can play multiple adversity cards uh, on your turn, okay? Now, obviously, you, you can't play multiple ones on the same turn that you draw one. I mean, you can only draw one at a time, right? But once you have them, you can play all of them at once, some of them, it's up to you. Uh, choices are sort of unlimited there. So, back to our example. We've drawn another uh, marker token worth five tokens. So this total card is worth 10 tokens. If I make it to the end of the game and I still have these cards, they count just like the actual hunger tokens and whatever assets you've accrued over the game. Uh, all of that is worth a final hunger token score. So in actuality, what I would here have here is five and 15 points. So it's something to consider. Do I bring the dogs of war while I'm playing? Do I play, do I bring the offense? Or do I uh, rein it in, play diplomatically, and uh, perhaps be rewarded for good play, diplomatic and peaceful play? It's up to you to decide uh, how you want to go. All right, so that takes care of all things having to do with playing adversity cards, gathering marker tokens for now. That example is complete.